Hi there. For this project, you're going to need a 9mm crochet hook or N, a yarn needle with a big eye, measuring tape, some scissors, and big stitch markers, removable stitch markers. I'm just using bobby pins. That will do just fine. And we're going to need yarn. This is Go For Faux from Lion Brand. I'm going to be using five colors. It's a bulky six weight yarn, three and a half ounce or 100 grams, 65 yards, 60 meters, 100% polyester. And it is really soft and squishy. All right, let's get started. The yarn for this shawl pattern was provided by Lion Brand. I'll start with mink and in the written pattern uh, you can see which order of colors I, I am using. I start with chaining 123. One, two, and at every 20th stitch I'm going to be placing a marker so I can keep track easier. Let's do that again. In. And this is more of a feel yarn to see, to feel where the stitches are instead of that you can see where they are. So um, placing a, a pin every 20th stitch would help with the stitch count. So chain 123. After 123 chains, create a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So this is one, two, three, yep. crochet, and then create a double crochet in every stitch all the way to the other end. And you should have 120 double crochets at the end, including this one. These three chains count as a double crochet. When you reach the marker, just remove it, make your double crochet. And place it back in the stitch. There we go. And then continue your work. At the end of the row, chain three, enter, and double crochet in every stitch of the row and replace the marker at every double crochet. At the end of row two, for the last double crochet, we're going to attach a new collar. And we do that by creating half the double crochet and then grabbing the new collar and finishing off that double crochet with a new collar. There we go. Chain three. And turn. And then I just crochet over the ends so we don't have to sew them in later. Okay, 
see see this color for the whole row at the end of this row I'm gonna attach another color again so we're gonna do that in the last part of the double crochet just like previous row there we go and then chain three and then crochet over the ends again on the way back this color is Pomeranian and you can find in the uh, written pattern which colors I'm using in which order and then double crochet all the way to the end the next one that I'll be using is called blonde elk that's this one I'm gonna attach it to the last double crochet like we did in the previous rows the yarn chain three and this one will be two rows of double crochet in the same color I'm at row 17 and here's the secret for the go for full shawl <laughs> chain three and double crochet 15 um, the beginning chain three counts as a double crochet so one two three see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and chain eight one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then skip eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and make a double crochet in that stitch and continue double crochet for the rest of the row. Row 18 is the same. Chain 3, double crochet 15, chain 8, skip 8, and double crochet to the end of the row. And then when you get to the chain stitches, make double crochets in them. Thank you so much for spending time with me today making this shawl. I hope you had fun. I sure did. Is this some yummy yarn? Thank you again, Lime Brand, for providing this yarn. It was a pleasure to play with. Until next time.